Capricorn, I'm Sha uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 23rd to the 29th of March 2020 and we've just gone into Aries so uh, if you have an Aries around you I suppose you will be celebrating uh, their birthday so happy birthday and welcome to Aqu uh, Aries and I'm doing mine, uh, 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 a section of my nine card spread. When you get an ex when you take an extended reading with me, then this is what you get. You can read the present, the past, the present, the future, and you can also read them horizontal, and you can read them with a cross and the diamond, and so you get a very in-depth reading and answers with regard to your question and thank you very much to those that have had taken a reading with me and I've got positive reviews on that as well thank you and I'm giving you a, a goddess card and I'm giving you an answer of the angels and a card from Dane, uh, Wayne Dwyer or Dyer um, uh, an inspiration card and I'm giving you also the, the card at the bottom of the deck so I'm not doing the cross or the diamond I'm just taking the three rows okay I'm not reading them that way either otherwise I'll be sitting here for an, uh, 30 to 45 minutes or even longer I'm also doing this because we have reached the first quarter we've got the first water of the year the first three months will be finished at the end of this week as this is dated till the 29th okay give or take a, a day or two um, but we are at the end of the month and we're going into a new quarter a new star sign so that is very uh, important and it will be of influence we're going into an energy of fire. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, this first quarter, like I said. So the past will be from the 1st of January till the end of March and this week. Okay, so in the past you might have lost something. You could have lost an item or a person or a job. Uh, like um, what I mean is not a death but that could also be um, so I'm sorry for that but the mice means um, something might be gnawing at you or have been gnawing at you the last couple of weeks or months um, you might have lost an item or a person like I said a friendship or a relationship and that might have been gnawing at you um, it is also that you might have been really really busy and you might have had to delegate because mice work in groups okay they're not only thieves but they <laughs> they are they are hard workers and they are social because they work in groups okay so something might have been annoying at you uh, that is in the past and you have had positive results so you might have worked it out with a, if it is with a person and um, you might uh, have um, lost your spotlight that could be as well because the sun is the spotlight you are in the spotlight and, some, and something was illuminated so perhaps something um, that um, you were busy with or that was in the spotlight usually it is you and now you've lost that spotlight and that is how you can translate it as well and you've had to cross a lot of bridges um, to uh, get into the spotlight and you've lost it you might have had to over bridge a gap uh, from loss okay and you you are in you were in the pos uh, it was positive um, because the Sun is the most positive card so I think you found your what you've lost you found again okay 
because the sun is warmth, is joy, is love, new beginnings, hearing of a birth, could be of a child or a project. Um, perhaps in the past you might have lost uh, a pregnancy and you got pregnant again, but you had to work hard to uh, a lot of bridges. You had to overcome things, uh, bridge gaps, um, uh, cross a lot of bridges to get to your final destination, a positive destination, security and stability, because you've got 31 here. Perhaps you might have had a lot of help from others and perhaps that something has been gnawing at you in the last three months. But definitely I think you have overcome, like I said, because you've crossed a lot of bridges and with that you've got life experience and knowledge. Okay, because you can work well in groups like the fish here. Perhaps you uh, lost your boundaries and you had to get to know your boundaries again and let others know what your boundaries are. Um, perhaps this could be at work that you lost your promotion or your position but you worked so hard to overcome all that you've gained it back and you know how to say no. Your wishes come true. Okay, Your goal and wishes come true. Somebody might have been nasty and uh, uh, a cheat, sly and um, gossiped about you at work and that's why you lost the issue but you found out the truth, you got clarity Okay, you came back in the spotlight um, because you made sure you were diligent and you crossed your T's and dotted your I's and that is why you got back into being the star. Boom. That is the energy around you now. So from bad you went to better. Woo! You're the star. You had the key. You've got the key in your own hand. You can open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity. There might be disagreements uh, with this person that is sly. Okay. Um, but step away from it. Don't give them any ammunition, okay? Otherwise, they'll put you back into the loss mode. Don't let it happen. Know your boundaries. Say what you have to say, and otherwise, go to your boss. Get the details, though. Have proof. There are things you don't know. That's the outcome of what this reading means. You might, st you might not know that there is a study around the corner because the book means perhaps a new course, a new study, more information, you need more information. So that's why I, I said to you, get the details, get the details. So if somebody is doing you wrong and trying to um, uh, get a fight, close the door on that person, walk away from it, talk to the hand, when you've calmed down I'll talk to you again, but get the details what their issue is, okay? Get clarity, get evidence, so that you don't uh, get into this same position as before, that you lose everything. Know your boundaries, set your boundaries, preferably every day, so that you can adjust. And look what is around the corner, passion and love. Passion for your job, passion for your position, passion for yourself, foremost, okay? and love for yourself, take care of yourself, remain in balance, but there might be a new love around you if that is your wish, it's coming in. Stay away from arguments and disagreements. Then from the Goddess cards, we've got Sarafiti, Sarafiti. Uh, Bring yourself to expression through um, arts and activities, create creative activities. Bring yourself uh, into expression. If need be, ask people for help. There are helpful people around you. Then we have the card from uh, Wayne Dyer and it says reconnect to your source of being. So. 
connect to your inner self and to the divine. That's where you came from. When you're inspired, you reconnect to your source of being. You go beyond the world of limitations and enter a space of creative knowing. Bring yourself to expression. Okay? Creative expression. As you move into the state of inspiration by feeling connected to a great purpose or an extraordinary project, you surrender. So, surrender to the Source, the Divine, and your inner self. Let your inner child come out. Boom! That is a beautiful reading, um, Capricorn. So, to cap it all, you came from a, a difficult past, you made it, you are the sun, you are a warm person, and that is what kept you going, to go cross bridges, climb the bridges. Oh, look, you've had so many uh, bridges to cross. You have endured the negativity, okay? And something's been gnawing at you, but you have worked hard and stayed positive. Even if it's a loss of an item, it will be returned to you in one way or another. You can work well in groups. Luck is on your side at work or in business. Know your boundaries. Let others know your, your boundaries. And um, then everything be alright. Be as precise as you can. Analytical. Um, and clever enough to maintain your own position. You are the star. Your wish or your goal is coming true through your hard work, but be careful of sly people. And um, there could be a boss, so there could be a promotion. There could also be a new study about that you might have a, a typical passion for a certain thing and you might be learning about this could be a promotion in your job that you wished for or get promoted or uh, a pay rise so it will be hard but you have to learn most probably there are things you don't know about so don't give anybody ammunition if somebody is sly or mean and talking and gossiping about you so that you get disagreements or arguments you hold the key stand above it and learn from it and um, find out you have to do some more research in order to get down to the nitty gritty or the bottom of an issue okay so that you don't lose out again okay Capricorn I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the live sessions English is on Monday and Friday and please leave a reaction behind whether this resonates with you if it doesn't then go to your moon sign or your rising sign Good luck with being creative and letting your inner child come out. Don't be too serious, but be analytical and precise. Take care and be blessed.